What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 8.28 a.m. Eastern Time, March 2nd, 2018. we got a trading video here for you. This is going to be on Bitcoin, as many of our others have been uh, in the past. But first, if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because we go over lots of technical analysis here. Uh, also, if you're on DTube, esteem it. Uh, subscribing to us and an upvote would be greatly appreciated. If you're not, links are down below. Definitely go check that out. So let's get right on into it here. Um, Bitcoin has uh, tried to get above this level uh, pretty much all night long. 11,060 um, is approximately the top of this candle right here. The top of this candle right here exactly is 11,064 spot 75. That's right here. And it tried to get above it for uh, basically all night long. Uh, at least Eastern time all night long, and it and it and it hadn't. We were projecting that the next top would be somewhere all all along here. Call it eleven thousand seven hundred and seventy-five. We were thinking if it breaks above here, that's the next place that is possibly going to stop. <clears throat> so a few different changes I'd like to make here, especially on the one-hour basis. On the one-hour hidden support level, we're going from ten thousand eight hundred and fifty-one to uh, ten thousand eight hundred and eighty. I know it seems like a small little difference, but uh, when you're trading things on a very minute scale, um, that uh, that makes all the difference. You know, a good twenty-nine dollars makes make, makes all the difference. So eight hundred and eighty, ten thousand eight hundred and eighty, and that's that right there. So we also have remember this line that we had drawn some time ago, uh, about ten thousand eight hundred and sixty-nine. Um, this. Uh, you know this lower blue line which comes from this top here comes from this top and this top and uh, not this top right here but kind of cuts through this top right here also the market had also um, adhered to it or understood that it kind of tested this line out uh, as on its way back up it kind of came back down and tested this and kind of and as it went back up again so uh, the, the the you know the previous um, here uh, 10,851 that we had here, you know, the market had come down pretty much. The low of this candle right here is 10,815. The low of this one is uh, 10,833 spot 58. So, you know, pretty close to our 10,851 that we had, um, that we had, uh, uh, you know, written about uh, prior. So, um, you know, let me go ahead and redo this. Hold up one sec. 10,880. Okay, so um, that's uh, that's what's going on there. That's what's going on here as far as a one-hour basis. It does look like things are going to fall off here a bit. Um, we have uh, we have. Uh, hold on one sec. So um, yeah, uh, you know, on a one-hour basis, possibly we think things can can possibly continue to come down. We do understand that Laguerre is kind of in this oversold territory, but it could go sideways uh, for some time here on this, uh, uh, you know, on the Laguerre indicator. It happens, uh, you know, more often than not. So we're also going to continue this uh, right here, this channel. We see that it's kind of bounced off and it's it came back up again. We're going to be looking to see how this thing pierces. Uh, pierces uh, right back through you know also at the same time we do you know this this kind of curvature right here is also telling uh, telling us that you know this needs to this basically needs to hold you know we really can't come back down into this green line all too much um, all, all too much at all um, for for the market probably not to continue to come down uh, otherwise this is just a very large you know bull trap right here what I, what I would like to see is, you know, some sort of continua continuation of higher highs. Otherwise, if we have any type of stalling, I do believe that we're either going to at least, at the very least, just hover along the top of this green line here, if not pierce down below it. All right. So, you know, you can count this wave here as a one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to have some sort of ABC correction. Um, I'm not. I haven't counted it directly right here but there's a few different ways of counting it so you could say that possibly that this you know that this um, wave right here this motive wave right here is over <clears throat> um, remember we do have a lot much larger one you know that we're thinking possibly is, is actually happening where this is a one we have a two 
and then this is a three you know kind of going all the way back up here where this is one of three so this is one and two of 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 uh, wave three that could possibly be the case um it's right now um what i would what i what i would say is that the order of this the size of this just looks a little too small for me it just looks yeah i understand this is one of three and this is you know the, the one wave is usually the smallest um but still i don't know it just it just doesn't it just doesn't look right um but you know we're still counting it as kind of our primary count in that in that bullish nature of this being one of 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 three so um that's what's kind of going on on a on a, on a one hour basis uh on a four hour basis we also have um you know a bit of a bit of a change um uh do we have a change hold up one sec my mistake there is not a change um so uh yeah we're still holding this four hour um ten thousand five hundred and seventeen as far as a hidden support level right here on a four hour basis we do think things uh, uh are, are are going to come down um you also see that here on the laguerre base on the laguerre um you know one thing is you one of the things you can go ahead and take a look at is that uh right here right so we just touched i don't even know if we actually touched it but um we almost touched this uh 0.2 level as far as being oversold and then rocketed rocketed back up that's telling to me that we really do need to go ahead and make and, and the Laguerre does not need to come back down and actually get into oversold territory. doesn't need to go sideways in that oversold territory for very long, but it does need to at least di dip into there. You can't really go f on for too long um, without there being um, some sort of, uh, you know, uh, so, 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 some sort of correction. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, you can even see it here, right? So, like, uh, you know, this came up, it kind of reversed. Right, and then it came back down, and then we kind of went sideways for some time here, right? So, um, yeah, that's what's going on on, on, on a four-hour basis. On a four-hour basis, also on the RSI, you know, we are, you know, um, holding above this line. Remember, I drew this line. It's about 59.7. Uh, this line on, on RSI, you know, the market tried to peak above it, peaked above it here, came back down into this trough, peaked above it here. Now it's came back down and it's just sitting right on top of it. Uh, so I will be looking to see for this for this to, to drop through. Uh, if it drops through, I think we may come down a little bit. We may come down a little bit lower, and that may bring us down close to this 10,517 that we're thinking about. Uh, to go back to the one-hour chart really quickly, we have the 55 EMA. We are still above the 55 EMA. Um, we would need to stay above that 55 EMA in order for this bullish run to continue yeah okay it could go ahead and pierce down below it a little bit but um i do believe that uh we in order for us to continue on and kind of make some of these higher highs over here around this you know 11,780, 775 somewhere around there um we do need to stay above this uh, 55 ema right now the 55 ema is um hold up a sec about 10,769 is the uh, where, where the 55 EMA is on a one hour basis. This is on Bitstamp. So let's take a look things on a, on a, on a four hour basis. On a four hour basis, the EMA is down here. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I do want to mention too is that you see here how they and I didn't mention it in my video some time ago I need to start looping this a bit more in right first of all I need to be a little bit more organized when I go ahead and make these videos to you guys so my apologies there I need to just make a checklist of going through everything um, as the same way in which I trade when I go ahead and I check I check everything so um, one of the things here is that the EMA came down to touch excuse me the, the candle came down to touch this EMA and then it pulled right back up and that's what's kind of started this this uh, huge bullish run right here okay um, and uh, yeah so also on a four hour basis you can also see we have this indecision candle right here um, 
and we also have kind of like this 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 large bearish candle right here it's going to be very telling to say to say what happens to this candle right here um, and it may be a little bit telling to whether or not we're going to have much larger of a correction on the Laguerre basis Laguerre RSI you know we are in overbought territory um, as far as this is right here is concerned, the, uh, the RSI, this, this number that I drew about 59.7, uh, RSI is kind of sitting right on top of it. You know, possibly this may, may pierce down below. We would also look to see that the 55 EMA holds on a four hour basis. You know, the, the, you know, the, 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 on a one hour, uh, so let me, let me put it this way. On a shorter time period, you can have the market kind of piercing below and piercing above various different trend levels and indicators and stuff like that. But as you zoom out and you get into higher time frames, you want to see more consistency. Right? In other words, you want to see that if you're if you're a bull, if you're trading things on a shorter time period on a long basis, you want to see excuse me, on a shorter basis, you want to see that on the longer basis that at least, you know, things look bullish. Right, and the opposite is for is for, for 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 if you're going short, if you're if you're bearish, you know, it's kind of the whole thing of 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 you know, uh, kind of staying within the trend. Now, with that said, I don't. I'm not necessarily a trend follower. Um, I'm, I'm 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 pretty much not a trend follower. Actually, I like to buy things when people are selling, and I like to sell things when people are buying. Um, that's c kind of kind of my specialty. Um, and I, I feel that's 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 kind of the better way to go about it. But do you know when it comes down to scalping and stuff like that? You know, it's best really to understand where the trend is going. You know, just hop on board and continue that. Pick up a few points and move on. Um, so um, that's kind of like my, my two-second blurb on trading on trading as far as this video is concerned. So yeah, like I said, the four-hour basis is staying the same uh, as far as hidden support level of, of ten thousand. Uh, 517 uh, let's go ahead and take a look at um, the the Fibonacci mr. Fibonacci real quick all right yeah so the um, so the point two three six uh, is at 10721 right the point three eight two is 10442 our hidden support line on a four-hour basis is 10,517. It's approximately two-thirds of the distance between two th between the 0.236 and the 0.382. So it's about two-thirds away from 0.236. Um, and so that's actually, you know, kind of where we've seen things correct. You know, this two-thirds distance between 0.236 and 0.382. So I'm kind of confident about that. I, I, I like it. I think it's at least a good educated guess uh, at, at the very least. Um, you know, as far as a one hour basis, you know, yeah, you know, one, uh, one hour basis of 10,880. You know, we will probably look to try to get out of uh, much of m much of our trade um, if we kind of pierce down below that. But still, it was uh, it, it, it was it was a great trade. Um, so, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Daily basis. Let's take a look at things on a daily basis. Um, okay, so daily basis, we have to stay above this 55 EMA. 55 EMA on a daily basis right now is 10,657 spots 63. Okay, um, right now the market is at 10,962. So, <clears throat> we're about uh, 310 points away approximately um, so in order to come down and meet this uh, this uh, moving average so it would have to be a pretty significant sell-off in order for us to go ahead and do that um, I don't know when I say significant it's we'd have to basically retrace about approximately almost half the distance of, of, of yesterday's uh, bull run um, but still, it's not necessarily significant as far as a, a um, as far as a, uh, a Fibonacci basis. Because remember, we still have on a four-hour basis our support zone here of ten thousand five hundred and seventeen. So if the market were to continue to go down um, uh, to meet this four-hour basis, there's a good chance it may not happen today. It may happen tomorrow. And if the market continues to go up or go sideways, we're just going to continue to move this four-hour hidden support level back up. So, um, 
yeah I think that's really about it real quick let me just go ahead and um, just do a once over once over once over yeah I mean here um, is a little bit so you can almost take a look at this right here and say you know uh, this is basically a straight top right here <clears throat> Um, but you also see at the same time you see the RSI is coming down right it's coming down right so you even see over here right uh, this is definitely significantly lower than what than what we had right here okay and you can even see here this peak is higher but this is lower right here so you know a little bit of a divergence between what's going on on the RSI and what's going on within the price and that sometimes is telling that possibly the market may continue to move down so uh, that's really about it for right now um, hope you guys have a great day if you guys are in the on the East Coast you're probably uh, in the midst of this uh, Norista that we're in right now uh, so uh, stay stay dry, stay warm, and for everybody else that's listening uh, listening to us around the world, I hope you guys have a great weather, have a great day, and speak to you guys soon.